hi guys my name is julia welcome back to my channel today i am going to be talking a little bit about urinary tract infection in the elderly population and some of the instructions that we provide to our patients on home visits okay so stay tuned for that information i am going to um, read a little disclaimer and then we will we'll get right to the information a little bit of a disclaimer guys the information that i am providing is based on my knowledge and experience as a nurse i am in no means providing medical advice please consult with your physician regarding any medical issues okay thank you now let's move on okay so what is urinary tract infection some people know it as UTIs so urinary tract infection is basically an infection in the urinary system it can occur in the kidneys in the bladder the ureter or in the urethra okay as a home healthcare visiting nurse, when we have a patient that has a UTI, we want to inform the patient of the signs and symptoms of urinary tract infection. They may already be familiar with some of the signs and symptoms, but we want to teach them additional signs and symptoms because a lot of times our patients who have um, urinary tract infection, they are at a higher risk for reoccurrence. So I teach my patients the signs and symptoms of urinary tract infection. And the most common sign of urinary tract infection um, found in the elderly is confusion. Confusion or um, altered mental status, okay? Another sign and symptoms is fevers. Other signs and symptoms or normal signs and symptoms that we find in all patients, whether you're young or you're old, um, with your urinary tract infection, um, such as um, dysuria, which is discomfort um, while urinating. Um, we have the discoloration of the urine. Um, we have the, the, the foul odor, odor of the urine. Um, what else? We have um, lower abdominal pain. So I teach my patients all those signs and symptoms of urinary tract infection. And it's important to also teach the family um, regarding the signs and symptoms of, the, uh, of urinary tract infection. Okay, and it's good for um, patients, you know, when they have their families who are very involved in their care, because if a patient is confused, you know, and um, that's not normal for the patient, who's going to know the patient is confused that they have a urinary tract infection? So if a family member is living with the patient or a family member comes to visit the patient, then the family member will know that, okay, something is off. My mom is not usually confused. Uh, my dad Dad is not usually confused so maybe you know he or she has a urinary tract infection and they will report um, this information to their physician who will get the patient um, the care that they need okay so it's important to report to so it's important to also teach um, family members regarding um, the patient disease management as a home health care visiting nurse, it's also important um, for me to teach my patients um, how to prevent urinary tract infection. I instruct my patients to drink adequate amount of water each day. And I don't say fluids because if I say fluids, uh, my patients, they're going to be drinking their coffee, their juices. They're going to be drinking everything except for water. So each patient should be drinking um, at least eight glasses of water per day. As you know, most elderly patients, they don't like water. So what I usually suggest to patients, actually what I usually do on my visit, I ask the patient or ask my patient, how many glasses of water are you drinking a day? All right, if my patients say they're drinking one glass, I try to encourage my patient to try to drink two glasses today, okay? And maybe tomorrow, maybe try to go up to two and a half glasses or three glasses a day. But I don't expect that uh, my patients are gonna go from one glass to eight glasses of water in one day, you know? So I try to encourage them to make small steps and to meet their goal. Drinking water is very important um, to prevent urinary tract infections, okay? 
okay another way to prevent urinary tract infection is teaching the patient how to wipe um, properly especially our female patients how to wipe properly from front to back and not from back to front okay so this is very important um, to prevent urinary tract infections okay another way how to prevent urinary tract infection in the elderly is to keep clean and dry uh, patients who are bed bound uh, patients who are not able to care for themselves we encourage their family members and in, in educate their family members on the importance of keeping them clean and dry um, changing them every two hours um, and changing them as needed okay to prevent um, urinary tract infection so I teach my patients the importance of reporting um, urinary tract infection as soon as possible or any signs or, or, or symptoms as soon as possible um, because urinary tract infection it can lead um, to kidney um, infection it can lead to sepsis and you know um, patients want to try to avoid those situations you know if possible okay guys so there you have it um, some signs and symptoms of um, urinary tract infection um, that we teach our elderly patients and their um, family members thank you so much for watching remember to subscribe to my channel comment down below let me know if you have any suggestions remember to give me a few thumbs up for the algorithm okay until next time my name is julia thank you so much for watching bye